Hey guys, it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be my very first wedding haul video. So I've been collecting a couple items for the past couple months and I thought I would share them with you guys. So if you guys would like to see what I've been getting for my wedding, then definitely just keep on watching. Alright, so we're going to start with some of the wedding decor items first. So I actually haven't been purchasing too many wedding decor items because I feel like little details people won't really like remember that anyway so i'm trying to save my money for more of the important things that i would like such as like a good photographer and stuff like that all right so all these decor items i got from michael's because they have really good coupons and really good sales these are some mercury mason jars and these were only on sale for like a dollar each but yeah i picked up these two and i figured i could use one for sparklers if we do choose to go that route and then another one for um, like pencils or pens if we're gonna have have some kind of guest book which I don't think we're gonna or else we can just put like some faux flowers in here and just have it displayed and then next up sticking with the mercury theme I picked up these really cute mercury glass candle holders these are from the brand Ashland and you get six of them these are originally nine dollars but I always always use a coupon when I get them so I have a Michaels right across the street so I'll go to Michaels like maybe once every week or every two weeks and then just use a coupon to buy one per trip so i don't buy a bunch per trip because you can't use a lot of coupons at once so these have only been i'd say like three dollars per pack which i think is a really good deal and i think it's better to buy decor if you can get it at a good price rather than rent them because then you can resell them after so Basically, you never really spend any money um, compared to if you rent it, you pay, and then you have to give it back anyway. So if you can get things at a cheaper price, I would do that and then just sell them after. So that's what I'm planning to do. All right, and then last for wedding decor, like I mentioned, I don't have a lot of stuff right now. So I picked up these gold baskets from Michaels as well, and they come in the set of three. And this was originally $19.99, but I got it for a half off. So it comes with this really big wire basket here, and then it comes with two smaller ones. So the bigger one, I plan on putting our programs in here. So I'm going to be making some program fans because we will be in Mexico, so it's going to be really hot. So I think fans would be really helpful for my guests. And I thought it would be really nice to just kind of lay it out. I kind of wish it was deeper, but I think it will be fine. And then these two smaller ones, honestly, I don't know what I will be putting putting in them I think what I want to do for our photo booth is have some photo booth picture envelopes I saw a couple pictures on Pinterest and I thought that would be really really cute save people do take a lot of photo booth pictures they can take an envelope and then just stick all of their pictures in there and I thought that was so adorable and then the second one I don't know where we're gonna use it for yet but it's nice to have it and then speaking of photo booth I picked up this printer it's kind of random but I picked up this portable printer this is by the brand Epson and this is their PM 400 printer the reason why I got a printer is because we're going to be having our own DIY photo booth and I really wanted a photo booth because I think it's really fun for your guests and it's fun for you too. We didn't want to hire or rent a photo booth down in Mexico because the place that I found, they quoted $600 for only two hours and I found that insane. So I figured out a way to do our own DIY photo booth using my DSLR a uh, windows tablet and a portable printer so once i have everything set up i will for sure be doing a diy photo booth for you guys but as of right now i'm just um kind of trying to set things up so i picked up this portable printer because i want my guests to be able to print out their pictures as well and not just have a digital copy so i'm really excited for this and we will be packing this and bringing it um to mexico with us so it's nice that it's really small and it's more lightweight than like an actual huge printer. So I'll make sure to link this down below. I really recommend this printer. And then I picked up this really random thing but it is just a balloon blow up. It says love and I got this from Target. And I thought this would be really cute for like my bachelorette party or like my bridal shower. If you're doing like a backdrop or anything like that or just for decor. I'm not going to have this at my wedding but I thought it would be perfect for one of my pre-wedding parties. Alright next are some robes. That I picked up from robemart.com they have really affordable robes so I will make sure to link those down below but the first one here is this white silky robe and this is in a size small slash medium it was only $12 so that's really really affordable and if you want to get a larger size it's 13 but that's still really cheap and it's really good quality as well so I really recommend checking out robemart 
And then I also picked up a couple in the color purple here. So this is in a size small slash medium. And again, really good quality. Robe Mart does offer personalizing embroidery in the back of the robes. So you guys are interested in that. So I would recommend either getting your uh, bridal party's title or their names or their initial. Just something to kind of personalize and um, have it as a gift to them. And also it's going to look really cute in pictures if you're planning to do those like getting ready pictures. Which is what we're planning to do and I think that will turn out so, so cute. And then speaking of robes, I picked up robes for myself, my maid of honors, and my bridesmaids. And I figured I should have picked one up for my um, flower girl. And my flower girl is going to be my niece. She's my only niece out of eight nephews. So I did pick her up a, a small little flower girl robe. And it is so adorable, you guys. It is this light pink floral um, satin robe here. And I got this from the same... Etsy shop that I got the robes featured in my DIY bridal proposal boxes uh, which is an Etsy shop called Joy Mabel Gifts I believe I'm I know I'm butchering it but I will link her shop down below she does offer really really cute robes as well so I recommend checking her out and in the back I just had a personalized flower girl and I think it is so adorable and she has three different sizes of flower girl robes she has um, one that's smaller than this one and then one that's a little bit bigger. So this is in a size 4. She has a bunch of different colors as well. So I really recommend checking out her shop. And then last but not least, since we're on the topic of Flower Girl, I picked up my niece a Flower Girl dress. And my best friend, who is my maid of honor, actually sent me a picture of this dress that she found on Pinterest. And I fell in love with it, so I had to get it. It is this really, really cute dress here. So at the top... Are these lace detailing which you can't really see too well but then here it has an embroidery uh, flower going like kind of crisscross throughout their dress here and then the bottom dress part is this tulle it's like this peachy light pink color it's more peachy than pink and then the back is what really got me it's this eyelash lace detailing that crisscrosses and kind of like plunges in the back which I think is so so cute. I got it from the shop Pop Sparkle which I will leave her link down below. This is in a size 6 and it will fit my knees perfectly. I did have her try it on um, but it is a little bit too big on her but like I stated by the time it gets to my wedding she should be a little bit older and it should fit her perfectly and i'm just really excited for her to wear this and all the photos so i really recommend checking out her shop down below she also has this dress in different colors too i think she has in white and then maybe a lilac too and then she has different styles which are so adorable they have like a long sleeve which i think is really cute too but since we're gonna be in mexico it's gonna be really hot so i got her the short sleeves all right guys that is it for my wedding haul i hope you guys enjoyed it um, I will try to link anything that I can find down below if you guys are interested. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!